Hey YouTube people, today we're going to take a look at uh, the ROG Flow X13 again. Uh, and this time we're taking a look at the difference that adding thermal pads to your laptop can make uh, in terms of bringing down the temperature of the device. Uh, lower temps are always good, uh, should contribute to higher clock speeds overall. Um, so I have done a bunch of testing with this. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you where I put the thermal pads. This is actually really easy to do. If you look at the screen, I am putting on there uh, where I put my thermal pads. And you can see I place them around the edges. And uh, with the 2021 version of the ROG Flow, I actually did it right on top of the CPU and GPU in addition. And what I found is that left a really hot, hot spot right on the back of the chassis. And I didn't quite like that that much because uh, if I use it in tablet mode, it could sometimes get too, too much heat could leak through the, the chassis right in that one spot. So I find doing it along the outside to kind of help uh, spread the heat around and uh, get it off of those cooling fins quickly is a good move. Um, but I didn't want to do it uh, at the expense of not being able to hold it as all although the 2022 uh, in silent mode does not even really get warm at all the 2021 got a look quite a bit warmer in uh, in my in my usage basically but let's go ahead and look at the benchmarks themselves so here we have the core temperatures and keep in mind the red line is before adding thermal pads so here's my test setup so I basically ran the same benchmark for 20 minutes and then I let it cool down. Um, and I did this at 100% fan speed. So it's not just the fans, you know, I didn't want the fans to just be running a little faster uh, and make it so we couldn't see a different in, difference in temperature. So 100% fan speed, this is uh, in manual mode. Um, so I have basically clearly defined the thermal envelope of the system uh, at 25 watts, I believe. Um, 35 peak, 25 uh, sustained uh, using uh, the manual mode on there. And you can see right away, like if you, if you look at here, you can see uh, within that benchmark, you can see that things are happening at the same time. You've got this peak. Um, but it's very apparent that the green line, which is with the pads applied, is uh, quite a few degrees cooler. Um, in fact, it looks about five degrees cooler different, difference uh, on the CPU itself. Now you can see right around the 10 minute mark, there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. Uh, the benchmark was running, but it, the screen had turned off because of sleep mode, which then I made it not do that for the next run, but it, but even before it hit that discrepancy, the 10 minute mark, you, it's very obvious that you can have a measurable difference. I've also taken thermal camera images of the chassis on the front and the back uh, before and after applying this. I'll go ahead and show those on the screen right here. So here is the back and here is the front before and then compared to after you can see that uh, it gets quite a bit to the touch like a lot of more heat is escaping through the chassis uh, rather than just through the airflow um, which is contributing to the cooling performance but uh, so cpu definitely cooler by about uh, five degrees on average and uh, if we look at the GPU, not as big of a difference, but uh, still a pretty distinct uh, difference here, about from 70 to 74, three or four degree difference. Uh, and as over time, as it gets a little more heat saturated, you can see that they come closer into line with each other. So uh, GPU hotspot as well, um, quite a bit cooler as time goes on. Uh, so the green line with the thermal pads obviously outperforming in terms of temperature. It, it definitely makes things run cooler for you. 
And one of the things I noticed is, and I don't know what to attribute this to necessarily, it could have just been a discrepancy, but the little stutters that you get when you're watching the game benchmark run, I noticed that with the thermal pads, and I don't know if this is maybe VRM temps or something like that, I noticed that it would stutter a lot less um, when I was after adding the pads. And maybe it's placebo. I mean, I don't have a good way of representing that to you. <laughs> um, it just seemed a little bit, bit quicker um, with less hangups. And maybe we can see, I mean, if you look at the, the effective core clocks, you can see that it was peaking higher with the pads on. And more often, you can see right in here, it seemed to be peaking quite a bit more often. And even the core clock peak uh, with thermal pads is 4630 without 44. Uh, the average was higher. Um, so, but then again, uh, it was limited by, it would have held itself back because it was limited by uh, power consumption by the watts, but you can tell that it wanted to peak higher than it did otherwise. So I think that's indicative of, you know, possible better performance if, and like I said, I was actually limiting the CPU from a power consumption standpoint. I could, probably should run a test completely unlocked, but now that the pads are on, I'm not going to take them off and on, on again. But it's it's pretty drastic. I mean, look at the red line. Look at the green line. The green line is with pads. Definitely is an improvement. Um, and it doesn't come at too much of an expense of heat on the outside of the chassis. And unless you're actually touching the very rear of the device, you can see uh, the top of the machine, the keyboard, does not look much different. It's about the same. So pretty close um, but definitely gives you a little boost in longevity and um, while I probably should have run a little this test a little bit differently um, to show more of what the performance d delta might be between pads and no pads it's pretty obvious it at least is going to let your components run quite a bit cooler so anyways uh, thanks for watching just wanted to give this quick update uh, if you enjoy this, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, there'll be plenty more videos, I'm sure, in the future, and we'll see you on the next ones.